all right ladies and gentlemen traders welcome back to another relentless recap as you guys are tuning in hit that thumbs up and if you're a new viewer consider subscribing to the channel so today we're up 553 dollars and 94 cents uh it wasn't really a hot day of trading it was a bit of a drawn out kind of a day the morning session was slow the moment we got a stock to do something it went right back down so let's talk about it but of course before we get into it before we address the questions that the people usually have uh let's talk about the disclaimer right so remember that day trading like any other business here in the united states of america is risky there's a lot of people who are having a hard time so whether if you're new or even if you've been around consider using small size guys use small size use the simulators take it slow it's not an overnight thing it takes months more commonly years all right so go slow as you go through the learning curve and protect yourself remember the live streams and recaps are never an invitation to copy trade and lastly i do not invest for my subscribers so be careful with fake accounts and impersonating impersonating accounts people pretending to be me i will never message you first i will never ask you for personal or private information all right and you guys can feel free to look at the rest of the disclaimer here uh of course keeping it classy right and and how we our guidelines for how we go through the community here so let's jump into the recap so the first question is usually relentless how did you find the stocks that you got uh, that you traded today guys momo pro momo pro is, is the scanning software that i use uh so down here in the discovery section you know i scrolled down around 9 15 9 20 a.m got the watch list stocks like bnzi aimd and sgd were some of the ones that i traded today right you can see sgd up 39 percent bnzi 44 aimd 55 percent so those are the stocks that i traded today on sgd we're up 824 bnzi which did have a lot of opportunities we just couldn't capitalize you know it was this close or else we could have maybe been up 1k on that one that's the difference right thin margins and aimd just didn't offer a ton uh we got caught in the false breakout aimd let, let's start with a loss actually here today aimd down 258 and we got caught right here guys so initially i'm watching hey can we get a red to green so i'm in with small size because at the time nothing is moving right and i did call out hey this stock seems to be bottoming nicely right so in terms of setups what kind of setup is this this is the bear flag right so notice the amount of times that this stock is coming down but not going lower once twice three four times it's not going down lower so this is what we call a double bottom triple bottom we're finding some support so it's not a bad idea to be in hey if it comes down right below i'm looking to get out if not can this thing go up but i was watching at other stocks where i did call out hey this thing is looking decent down here and so i missed being in at the very bottom but i got in right here so as this as this candle here at the time it was green it was going up i'm in and i was in at 94 i sold at uh i believe 403 and we can check this is at 9 36 a.m let's go to the log at 9 36 a.m let's see the log here so at 36 i'm in at 93 initially i'm out at 93 i'm in at 97 okay here's the trade i'm in at 97 and i'm out at 10 so this this was a good trade for me this was a good trade i'm in at 97 and i'm out at 10 i'm back in at 5 i'm out at 14. now i size up thinking that this thing was going to be good right so i thought we were getting the breakout over four and a break and hold of the whole dollar which is another one of the patterns i look for so first again remember bear flag just just picture your country's flag right let's bring up the drawing tool just picture your country's flag some a lot of you guys are americans right so just picture the flag on the pole you know nice big flag you got all your stars in there and you know it's a little rectangular sometimes it's a little triangular and that's what our bull flag is right now the inverse of that is the bear flag a move down and then the sideways consolidation the stock is going sideways in this area that's essentially what this is you have to be able to recognize and see the patterns right so down and then sideways a little triangular 
consolidation. We got the high point right there. We got the low point. Is it going to go down or is it going to go up? That's on a basic level what I'm looking for. This, whilst trading is, is complex, it's also not rocket science. This is the basis of what I'm looking for. If I'm in here and it comes down, I want to get out immediately. I don't want to be holding, holding and selling all the way here. That's how you get a big loss. It, but if I can be out right away, I keep my wrist tight because on the days where this goes up, even on an area where it comes down, this was enough time to be in and selling, selling, selling. So I've made money going up. But what happened is I got, and let's see if we can find a trade. If we go back, I bought again. I bought one time too many right here. I'm in. And so here's my plan, right? Because initially I don't know if the stock is going to be good. I start off with smaller size. And once it does start to get over four and looks good, I okay, okay time to size up. So I increased my size by 2.5. So I went from 1000 shares to 2,500 shares. And you can see actually the moment I increased size, I, I think this trade was a mistake on my side, being a little too aggressive. I could have waited more for the pullback. And I gotta be careful. I've been messing up on this particular trade here. I gotta stop being this aggressive. I think it can work on days where we're really hot, but there's no need to take this loss. So I should have been waiting for four. This should have been the only trade I took right here. And this was a great trade. And I'll take this trade again tomorrow because you know, ultimately, I did lose a good amount here, but usually I'm not losing this much. Usually I'm in at, at 97, you know, out at 95. But in this case, I'm buying 97 thinking it's going to come right back up. And I get Blaze stopping out at 88. Big loss, man. Big loss. And you can see after that, I switched over to the other stock. So, you know, we, I think we were maybe slightly red before this push trying to buy this green candle and then we made back the money and then we went right again right so I was, tra I, was, I was also trading some price action trades so I was watching it level two within this first candle didn't do much the first official pattern of the day comes I'm not in directly at the low but I catch the break of the flag the high of the flag it is a uh, trigger point right here I'm in nice move I buy back lower as we dip thinking it's gonna go right back up instead to the depths and again this is a even though i got caught right this is why we have to cut the loss because look at where we went right from my entry at 97 before this thing really like came back up right here we got 95 but it you know i never i would have never been green in the trade it went all the way down to 61 why what am i possibly doing holding this thing down there it doesn't make sense it's even breaking below this odd previous support so we got to keep the trades tight and on the days where the stocks are strong we're going to get the move up so that was aimd just a little disappointing bnzi maybe a little bit more frustrating because this one had more of an opportunity initially we wash out and down here we get a bottoming wick which is usually a good sign for us and we start to curl up we start to curl up we start to get this red to green you know, we, we get the uh, hammer candle, we push up a little bit, we go to 94, and I think I got involved here. No, 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 I'm in at 08. No, 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 I wasn't, I wasn't there early enough. So let's see, we had a high of 23. So I came a little late. So we had a, a high of 94. See, on this type of setup, I want to be here for the break of three. If I can be here for the break of three, I, I can't remember, maybe I was late. I could have been late. But the break of three would have been good because we got all the way to 323, right? And this here is a, a V-shape red to green. A V-shape red to green. So we talk about all the potential entries. We even talk about how to recognize this hammer candle and how to position yourself. So and and I'm referencing I'm refer referencing um the classes, right? Let's just go to the um the material, the curriculum so you guys can see the different edges here you know chapter 24 we have uh the bull flag which we, we just spoke about right there's the vwap pullback there's the abcdw uh there's the red to green if we come down some you know a little lower the three bar play so none of these setups are better than the other none of them is worse than the other it just comes down to what's available on that day right the baby pullback 
a quick example of the baby pullback is when we don't have a red candle, but there's a dip. So we had a high of 94. It dips here without a red candle to 85, and then it rips. This is a, also an entry that I look for, right? That's the baby pullback. So let, let's let's come down to the red to green. And what I can do here, right, just to give you guys a quick look. Chapter, let's come back up. Chapter 14, right, recognizing the patterns. Let me just log in here as if I'm a student. Right, I'm going to log in from the student's point of view so you guys can see uh, how this looks, right? Because I'm coming on this recap to show you guys what I did on the day. But th there's no better way to show you guys what I did on the day like the classes because the classes have, has everything in detail. So here we go. I'm logged in, right? Boom, boom, boom. Let's go to chapter 14, right? Chapter 14 I just mentioned, which is recognizing the setups and the patterns. Now let's go down to the red to green. Where are we? Red to green, right? The red to green. So here is here are, are the full examples of everything that we're looking for on a daily basis when it comes down to these same patterns that we trade over and over. Guys, it's all here. It's all here, right? It's all here. And, and hold up, hold up. Let's go back to that example. You see, you see the hammer candle there. And we talk about different ways in which you can manage risk, which is what I'm doing right now in this recap, right? Whether it's the low of the candlestick, a break or bail entry, or maybe a 10 cent stop, you know, depending on how the stock is moving, the range that it has, you can make the decision on the spot, right? And we go through all the examples, right? We go through all the examples, uh, you know, over and over different different red to greens and different type of you know forms shapes and sizes and of course this is just recognizing the pattern because you got to be able to recognize the pattern and then chapter 24 is the actual way we trade the pattern live examples right man this i'm not going to talk too much about the classes it's just it's there for anybody who wants to use it coupon code dream 50 percent off right but anyhow yeah that, that was another one of the patterns, right? A V-shaped red to green down here. We go up. We got the V-shaped red to green. We go up. And it's a little choppy up here. The flag is pretty big. I end up getting chopped out trying to buy low. I bought at like 11 and 14 after the high of 35. We had a low of 06 and then we had a low of 04. So when I said I could have done better, you know, it was me not being positioned well enough on the dips or else or else we would have made a good like five six hundred for sure guaranteed going back up because i got stopped out for losses going down if not we would have been you know double positive to the upside but that was bnzi and, and i think that's it there's another stock but you know you guys get what you guys get the point of what i'm doing here um the other one sgd just you know are quickly again for the patterns all right so this one was a little tricky in terms of false breakouts, right? Because, you know, again, we're coming up here. The first pattern that we get was the one minute candle making the new high, right? And this is essentially for high of day as well. So one minute candles making the new high and it's also high of day. Hey, can I be in at 96 for the break of two? And can we push over two? We do. We get to 05. And again, the baby pullback from 05, it's back down to 97. We ripped to 11, but the VWAP, the volume weighted average price, this white line is here. And we know that this can act as resistance, sometimes even support right here. It acts as resistance and it essentially, again, resistance and then becomes support. Finally, you can see we start to hold above it here. And then we get the move up. So over the highs of uh, 13 and then 20, I got involved again over here and made some uh, some good trades as we got up to a high of 28. Took this baby pullback flawlessly. I think it was this one. I took this baby pullback flawlessly, 3K size. This this definitely got me. Yeah, you can see I took, so I had I had good share size on this dip. I'm in at 14, 14, 14, 14, 15, 19. And I'm selling at an average of 19. Let's see, so I'm selling, oh, let's see, 22. I sold some at 13, sold some 14, and sold the rest 25, 24, 23, 23. So I sold, I sold about 3,000 at 23. 
So what happened initially, I was in, I thought it was going to go lower. I think I sold flat. So breaker bail, but I realized, okay, no, 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 it's holding. So I'm back in again. And then I sell as we got the bigger push. So I caught that baby pullback nicely. This is a sweet trade here. All right. Some of the other entries that you're seeing is me trying to buy the, the pullback down here, trying to buy here and here at the low. And other times I'm trying to buy. I think I had one mistake where I bought in between it because I, I usually like to buy higher or low. And the other time was me buying here and here trying to get a higher move. But the stock is not giving that big green candle. We, we know, it, you know, that we could see from there. It was to the depths. And that's how we made our 500 bucks today, guys. Stay safe, stay green. Check out the classes. I'm telling you guys, it's the real deal, brother. It's the real deal. It is the real deal. All right. And it's a steal, too, for the price. It's pretty cheap for a year, you know, for unlimited mentorships, lectures, Q&A, stuff like that. You know, 50 bucks a month with the 50% discount that we're giving. It is unreal. Not to mention, you know, all of our live trading goes in there every day with level two, which is this instrument here. It's on. There's nothing else out there like it. Uh, and I'm very proud of it, which is why I'll promote it shamelessly. Right. So stay safe, stay green. It's been Relentless Trader. I'll catch you guys later. Uh, check out the links from Momo Pro, which we mentioned earlier. Code Relentless for 25% off. And uh, check out the chat room, which is our. You know, check out the Discord, which is our chat room. That's how I usually say it, where it goes down. All right. Stay safe. It's been Relentless. Catch you guys bright and early Monday morning. Hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Take care. And do not, do not obsess about trading over the weekend. Detach. Let go. Relax. Study up. Come back fresh. All right. Catch you guys.